Hello puzzle fans. Welcome back to the Steam Next Fest, October 2024 Steam Next Fest. This is Block Shop by Full Box Studios. I originally uh, downloaded this to cover it as part of uh, an automation game segment block that I'm going to do. I don't feel like doing the automation games on a stream would be that good, so I was just going to download a bunch and play a bunch and then just cover them all in one long video. Not a long video, but you know, like, just talk about them. It turns out this is more of a puzzle game than an automation game. It's just sort of presented to you a bit like a factory game. So I have, in fact, already finished it. But I was very impressed, so I didn't feel like it was fair that I didn't cover it by itself. Uh... Yes, it's uh, it's uh, marked as just coming soon on Steam and Fullbox Studios. This looks like will be this will be their first rodeo. It's made in Godo. Uh, the green ones are what's made, and the blue ones are what the target is. And all you simply have to do is is, is get the thing to the target, and you drag the conveyor belts around. So it starts off, you know, like, okay, fine, fine. Conveyor belts, shapes, you love to see it. And then you get the splitter. Uh, and the splitter, it took me a little while to get over my factory game habit of thinking I had to rotate this to do what it said. But it doesn't matter. Just as long as you uh, belts in and belts out, do what you want, it's all good. So then, now we have this. You can use the hotkeys to put the numbers down in the space, so that was also very good. I enjoyed that a lot. And it's easing me in. I enjoyed the, um, very much enjoyed the complexity ramping up in a mean in meaningful ways. Uh, is this correct? Seems correct to me. Huzzah. Uh, and then you get the squishers. So a square that's squished horizontally turns into a line. But a line that's then squished vertically turns into a smaller square. I know, right? And again, you don't necessarily have to have these input and output in straight lines. You can just, as long as the belt goes through, it's all good. Now, this is where I knew that the person designing this game is smart. Because rather than have like a, oh, you can only use X number of pieces or only draw X number of belts or whatever, they've done this thing whereby this is part of the solution space. You can do this if you want, but you'll get an efficiency medal if you solve the puzzle without using this square at all. So it's like an optional extra challenge on top of but it's not like precluding me from making X amount of moves or doing it in five seconds or something ridiculous like that, you know? So all you, you just need to get to the end, but we can't use this space. And that's not for anything, even a, even a conveyor belt. Is it? Is it for anything? Pretty sure it's for anything, but that can't be right because how do I get... Oh no, yeah, that's right. I remember now. I remember now. You're like, how could you possibly do this without covering this space? And it's because... Uh, you can use the big square to do both things. So you can split it and then squish it one way to get this shape. And then split it the other way to get this shape, thereby not using this at all and getting my efficiency medal. How neat is that? Pretty impressive, I thought. So they all need to be squished vertically. But then they need to be squished horizontally before they go into the goals. 
And then we've got another one here that's easier if you don't mind about not doing this. This one was the first one that actually really taxed me. There's a hint system? I don't, I don't remember using this. Obviously there's no way for me to prove that. I could just be lying to you to make myself seem smarter. But we'll see. Um, so they all need to be squished in varying different ways. So we we'll probably should split it first. This one needs to be squished like that before it goes in there. And then it needs to be squished again before it goes in there. And then this one just needs to be squished like this before it goes in there. Oh yes, I remember now. This, the, these aren't also splitters, are they? They can only have one output. Yes, I remember why this one annoyed me. Not annoyed, annoyed me in a good way. Taxed me. It taxed my brain. Uh... And now I don't remember why, what the solution was. Is it another splitter here? I did have an empty space, didn't I? You need, vert you need vertical squishing and then you need squishing both ways. Seems correct to me. Nice. Layering. Layering is a bit odd in that because you can have, well they're called stackers, uh, because the conveyor belts can basically do whatever you want, the way it stacks is the one that goes straight through is on the bottom. Uh, so we need a black square, so we need this guy to be squished. Oh, but this one's even smaller. Yeah, that's right. Uh, so this is not the smallest a, a shape can be. It can go even smaller than that. But if this needs to be squished vertically and this needs to be squished vertically, then we can do that at the end and we can actually stack them first. The black needs to be underneath, so it needs to go straight through. And there we go, we get our efficiency badge as well. Nice. Um, the, this, this is a white piece on top of a white piece. I, I wish it was ever so slightly clearer what was happening here. But that is an extremely minor complaint, like extremely minor. Split it. Splitting has to go there, can't go. You can't move the pieces around as well, which is another small thing I noticed, but it's not. If you use the hotkeys, it's actually very quick to do what you, if you're not if you're using a touch screen or something, then fine, you might have a bit of a might be a bit annoying. It'd be nice to be able to move these around. Like middle mouse doesn't do anything, right click deletes it. There doesn't seem to be a way to move them around that I've found. So that might be something to think about. But maybe that's too complicated. Um, so we need splitting. This guy needs vertical squishing, and then it needs stacking. Simple. Simple as you like. Oh, no. The white's underneath, the black's on top. That needs to be squished horizontally first, correct? No, it's the other way around. You can override the pieces at least, which is nice. Yes, very good. And then here's your final exam in making sure that the, the thing on the bottom is the thing that you want to be on the bottom. So this one, the white one's on the bottom, so the white one has to go straight through. This one, the black one's on the bottom. This one, the black one's on the bottom. It's pretty good, isn't it? It's pretty neat. It's, it's, dece it's deceptively simple. It's also not forcing me to do levels before moving on. Um, we'll skip this one. <laughs> 
just so I can show you the expander and the shrinker, which do exactly what you would imagine. They the shrinker is like the combined vertical and horizontal squisher, whereas the expander is expanding it in every direction. And then the white is on the bottom. Yeah. Uh, and I believe that was all of the mechanics. So not every level has the efficiency medal, which is interesting. Good. Um, and then, if you look in the background, if you look at some of these, you know, like, I'm not sure what's going on here with this plus one. Like, maybe you can, there'll be some sort of, there's still three tools that we haven't got access to. Stacking in some sort of way where it doesn't go into the middle, or like, cutting them in half or something. It was good. I enjoyed it. I know it's a short one because I, I, as I say, I played it through already, and I don't want to, you know, just do solve every single puzzle for you. I just wanted to show you it. Uh, and this is, you can turn the CRT filter off as well if that is your vibe. Yeah, I thought it was nice. I, I bung that straight on the wish list to be honest with you because I just thought it was a neat little thing. And as I say, I downloaded it as part of a little automation game segment that I'm going to do where I'm just because there are a few automation games in the next fest and I'll have a quick look at those but I'll just show you the end results more than anything really and what I like and what I don't like about them and this one was not an automation game even though it has conveyor belts imagine that, a puzzle game with conveyor belts that's not about base building if you enjoyed the video, thank you so much for watching let me know with a like or a comment and if you want to see more puzzle games or just like the vibe of the channel in general, be sure to subscribe. Other than that, take care, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.